Hello there, everyone. Welcome. This is your friend, Alakazam ASMR. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're relaxed. Today, we'll be doing a really brief kind of video. Something, hopefully, short but sweet. We'll be opening some Pokemon cards. I think a little bite-sized episode would be nice. We have blister packs, which are these very small packs. They only have one booster inside, a promo card, and some form of coin or little badge. So, these episodes will be very short, but hopefully you'll enjoy them and help you relax and take it easy. So, Without further ado, let's get into our very first blister pack of the Pokemon trading card game. This blister pack is highlighted with dark purple. It looks very nice. It has one blister pack inside. It has one promo card in Crobat, the evolved form of Zubat and Golbat. And a little coin of Zoroark. Let's have a look at the pack. Pokemon trading card game. Some Pokemon go bump in the night. Get in on the latest Pokemon TCG action with one cool Pokemon coin to add to your collection. An awesome Pokemon TCG booster pack. And one of two foil promo cards. Each Pokemon TCG booster pack contains 10 cards. Each player must have a 60 card deck of Pokemon cards to play. Expand your Pokemon trading card game collection with 10 additional game cards, booster packs. Gotta catch them all. So, there is only one booster pack inside, which makes this a short video, but maybe for some people they like short ASMR. So, let's finally get this thing opened. Pokemon blister pack. Let's open it. Off screen. I'll just be a moment here. There we go. Go to the back hole. So, let's empty it up. And the contents inside this little blister pack are as follows. We have one blister pack. Pokemon Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Ten game cards, with Coma O as the cover Pokemon. Island Guardians, ready for battle. Visit Alola for Pokemon fun, from the beaches to the mountain peaks, and discover new traditions and new challenges. Meet the Island Guardians Tapu Koko GX and Tapu Lele GX, and sharpen your skills with Kahuna Kala, Kahuna Hala, and Captain Mallow. Be amazed by the secret powers of Komo O GX, Lycanroc GX, Metagross GX, Sylveon GX, Toxapex GX. Vikafold GX, and many more. Come to the islands and seize the power of the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Guardian R Guardians Rising expansion. One booster pack with ten cards inside. We get the promo card in the front of Crobat. I've always loved Crobat in the games. They took a Pokemon that's become a meme for being so ridiculously common. You take one step in a cave and you get a Zubat. But I always thought Zubat was cool. Zubat turned into Golbat. And then, if he loved you enough, 
he would evolve into this, Crobat, a really nice poison flying Pokemon. In this case, it's a psychic type Pokemon card. Stage 2. Crobat evolved from Golbat, as we can see there. 130 HP, really nice artwork. Nice shiny hollow there. Number 169, the Bat Pokemon. Height, 5 foot 11, and weight, 165.3 pounds. Its attacks are triple poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. Or attack number two, surprise strike. If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 60 more damage. 60 plus. Attack one requiring one psychic energy, and attack number two requiring three normal energy. He has a two times weakness to electric attacks, and a minus 20 resistance to fighting. The description is, both its legs became wings, and as a result, it can't move well on the ground. All it can do is crawl around. Illustration. Very lovely loop looking promo card. A nice one to add to my collection. There's Crobat there. He looks really nice. Good to have you with us, buddy. So, we have the booster pack, the promo card, and of course, we have the online code for the trading card game. So, if you want to be the first person to get on top of that online code, then feel free. I'm not going to use it, so feel free to take it. We good? We good? All right. If you want to use this code, you better run fast, because someone else is going to beat you to it. And the last thing in this pack is you get a little coin. Pokemon. Zoroark. Very nice shiny little card. Lovely. Okay, we've seen the coin, we've seen the promo card. Now it's finally time to get to the whole point of the blister pack. The booster that's inside. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy opening one Pokemon Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Booster Pack. Oh! I didn't know I would also get another code. Or is this a promotion? Oh no, it's not. We also have a second code, if anyone wants to use that for Pokemon Online. Feel free to use that. Okay? You got that? Best of luck to you. Whoever uses that code, I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's get to the ten cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pokemon Sun and Moon, Guardian Rising. Card number one is going to be... We have a Carvana, a water-type Pokemon. With an HP of 50. The Savage Pokemon. Height 2 foot 7. Weight 45.9 pounds. Number 318. Carvana was a Pokemon that came from Hoenn and evolves into Sharpedo. He has a two time weakness, two times weakness to grass, and he doesn't have a resistance to anything. It costs one normal energy for him to retreat. Each school has its own territory. Any intruders are mercilessly attacked with fangs bared. He has one attack, bite, requires one water energy, and does ten damage. Kavana. Quite the aggressive looking Pokemon. The next card is going to be we have the fighting type. Barboach. The Whiskers Pokemon. Height 1 foot 4 inches and weight 
4.2 pounds, number 339. Has two attacks, it's first requiring one normal energy, takes 10 damage, the hook attack. Or for one fighting energy and one normal energy, he can use Mud Slap, which inflicts 20 damage. He has a times two weakness to grass, and requires two normal energy to retreat. Its two whiskers provide a sensitive radar, even in muddy waters. It can detect its prey's location. Barboach is also a Pokemon that came from Hoenn originally, and it evolves into Whiskash, which I believe was a water ground type Pokemon, which is a really good type in the video games. That was Barboach. Next, we're going to have the FOD card. We have the Fairy type. You guessed it, Clefairy. It has 60 HP and is the Fairy Pokemon. The Fairy type, Clefairy, is the Fairy Pokemon. Who'd have guessed? Number 35, Fairy Pokemon, height 2 foot, weight 16.5 pounds. Very cute looking. It has two attacks. Well, it has one attack, requires one fairy energy. Slap, which causes 10 damage. Its other ability, follow me. For two normal energy, switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Has a two times weakness to steel types, and a minus 20 resistance to dark types. Requires one normal energy for a retreat. Its adorable behavior and appearance make it popular with men and women. Young and old. Its numbers are few, however. I've been playing Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow recently, and Clefairy is quite rare. You can only find it in Mount Moon, in Kanto region, or in the game corner in some versions. As time went on, Clefairy has become easier to obtain in the games. But as for the card game, Clefairy can also evolve into Clefable with use of a Moonstone. Clefairy also used to be just normal type in the original generation, but has been now in retcon, so it's now a fairy type. Which makes sense, it's called Clefairy. And card number four is going to be... Ah, uh, we have Tentacool. A water type with 60 HP. The Jellyfish Pokemon, number 72. Height 2 foot 11, weight of 103 pounds. One attack, Sludge Shock. One normal energy will cause 10 damage, and the defending Pokemon can't be healed during your opponent's next turn. Has a times 2 weakness to grass types, and takes one normal energy to retreat. They can be found lying dehydrated on beaches, but they are often still alive. When soaked in water, they will revive. Tentacles in the same line of Zubad, in the sense that he was very common to come across. If you soften any body of water, chances are you're going to find Tentacool in the games. He evolves into Tentacruel, a water poison type, and is, I'd say he's actually pretty useful in those games. In the sense of the card game, however, that's up for debate, because I don't really know what the Tentacruel, the Tentacruel, I'm sorry, cards do. But look at the design. Tentacle looks pretty sweet. Some kind of mystic jellyfish. <laughs> I like him. And the next card's going to be... Ooh! We have a steel-type Pokemon. Beldum. With an HP of 60. Number 374. The Iron Ball Pokemon. Height, 2 foot, weight, 209.9 pounds. One attack, Core Beam, which will inflict 20 damage for one steel energy. But, you have to discard the steel energy from this Pokemon, so effectively it costs two, at least, I think. Has a two times weakness to fire, and a minus 20 resistance to psychic. It takes one normal energy to retreat. Its cells are all magnets. It uses magnetism to communicate with others of its kind. Beldum is actually one of my favorite Pokemon of all time because he evolves into Matang. And then after that, 
he evolves into the ever so cool Metagross. He has a really cool typing of Steel Psychic and becomes this big metal psychic spider. It just looks so cool. Metagross has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. And the Steel type is really powerful too. It doesn't really have that much going for it in terms of offense, but nothing beats it for defense. Nothing. In my opinion, at least. Sure, on its own, it has its uses, but if you cross a Steel type with another type, chances are it just makes things better. And Beldum's a cool little Pokemon. I like this design of Steel types, just this shine, even on the common versions of the cards. Also look at the picture. Very nice. And the next card is going to be... Ooh, that's nice. We have a hollow. We have Marini. With an HP of 60 and is a water type. The Brutal Star Pokemon. Height, 1 foot 4 inches. Weight, 17.6 pounds. Number 747. And there's two moves. One, Bailout. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Requires one normal energy. Or it has Rain Splash, which will cause 10 damage in exchange for one water energy. It's a times two weakness to grass. It plunges the poison spike in its head into its prey. When the prey has weakened, Marini deals the finishing blow with its ten tentacles. It's shiny too. Let's see if I can shine a bit of light onto this to show you. It's a very pretty hollow, isn't it? Marini. Very nice looking Pokemon. And now the next card's going to be... Oh, wow. We have a dark type. Honchcrow, the evolved form of Murkrow, 110 HP, it's the big boss Pokemon. No, it's got nothing to do with Metal Gear Solid, but we have number 430, Honchcrow, height 2 foot 11, for weight of 60.2 pounds. This is a really cool Pokemon, I always loved Murkrow, it was a generation 2 Crow Pokemon. I just love the dark type. Dark types in anything I just think are so cool and mysterious. He has two abilities. He either has Faint Attack, which requires one dark energy. This attack does fairly damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on that Pokemon. For two normal energy, Raven's Claw, 10 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter in all of your opponent's Pokemon. A times two weakness to electricity, or electric attacks, excuse me, and a minus 20 resistance to fighting. Retreat, one normal energy. A single cry from this nocturnal Pokemon and more than a hundred of its macro cronies will assemble. The Big Boss Crow. It looks really nice, doesn't it? I like how Hodge Crow's design makes the feathers in his head look like some kind of hat, like some kind of Italian mobster in the big beefy chest. I like this. Murkrow originally didn't have an evolution until Generation 4. It was just a little crow, and then they gave him an evolution, which was really cool in my eyes. And our next card's going to be very basic. 
We have an energy card. Fairy energy. Not much to say. It's a basic core point of the game. So let's just show off how pretty the card looks. Fairy energy is highlighted by the color pink. Very cute. Very cute and cool though. Fairy energy. Not much to say about it besides it's energy for fairies. So the next card is going to be we have a supporter, Hala. Shuffle your hand into your deck. If you have used more, if you have used your GX attack, draw seven cards. If not, draw four cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before your attack. And there's Hala there. I haven't actually gone round the Pokemon Sun and Moon yet, so I don't know too much about the character. I do know he's one of the mental figures, but that's about it. It looks cool though. I like that mustache. I'm a bit jealous actually. We have two cards left, so let's hope we get lucky. The next card's going to be another trainer card. A stadium. A for Paradise Conservation Area. Bring grass Pokemon and basic electric Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Take fairly less damage from the opponent's attacks after applying weakness and resistance. This card stays in play when you play it. Discard this card if another stadium card comes into play. If another card with the same name is in play, you can't play this card. It's basically a field spell card from Yu-Gi-Oh, except in Pokemon you get stadiums. A for Paradise. All I know is, I think they're the villains of Sun and Moon. I'm walking my way up to now. And so, we have our last card. Let's hope we get lucky. Our final card of this Guardians Rising Sun and Moon pack is going to be... Hey, that's pretty cool. It's actually Tentacool. Or should I say, Tentacruel. We got Tentacruel in this pack, and now we have his evolved form, Tentacruel. A water type with 110 HP, the jellyfish Pokemon. Oh wow, I love that artwork, just admiring it right now. Height, 5 foot 3, for weight of 121.3 pounds. Two attacks. For two normal energy, you can use Poison Sting for fairly damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, or... Attack number two, Seething Tentacles, deals 40 plus damage for free normal energy. Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 40 more damage. If tails, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So he gets to choose to paralyze or poison for decent damage. He has a times two weakness to grass and takes two normal energy to retreat. Normally, it has 80 poisonous tentacles. The longer one has been alive, the fewer tentacles it will have. There we have Tentacruel there. I don't know if it makes it any better looking at the artwork of these cards while I'm shining a light into it. But, I hope it helps. I'll be working on getting actual light dimming installed at some point so that might help with these card opening videos but yeah that was Sun and Moon Guardians Rising we got Carvana Barboge Clefairy Tentacool Beldum Marini Hollow Hunchcrow a fairy energy card, the trainer support, Hala, stadium card, A for Paradise Conservation Area, and Tentacruel. That was a pretty good haul for a single booster pack. And it shows how much garbage I can talk, considering that was just one booster pack and I've taken 20 minutes. But the idea behind this is that 
hopefully it's a lot more straightforward than simple. You pick up the video and you see me open a single pack, nothing too convoluted. I open a pack, I ramble away, and hopefully it helps you relax. And I get to open booster packs with some nice cards inside. In this case, in my opinion, the highlight is getting Tentacool and his evolved form, Tentacruel. I think they're both really cool Pokemon, especially from Generation 1. Very useful in the games and just overall look really nice. Tentacool evolves into Tentacruel. And they're all one big happy family. Anyways, that's been one booster pack with the cards enclosed. We have a we have the Crobat Hollow at the top. We have the little Zoroa coin. And for whoever's quick enough, two codes for Pokemon Online. And that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoy. Hopefully these blister packs are enjoyable for you. Because I can take 20 minutes to open a single blister pack, and hopefully by that point, I've either relaxed you, or bored you to sleep, or helped you zone out. Whatever you get from this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you very much for your time. This is your friend, Alakazam ASMR, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy, and thank you. See you around. Adios. Thanks for watching.